Okay, um, we are looking at uh, Windows Phone today. We're looking at on the uh, Samsung Omnia 7. Uh, we're looking at Windows Phone 7. Um, with Mango approaching very soon, the new operating system for Windows, we thought we'd take a look at Windows Phone 7 because so little has actually been said about it. And unfortunately, not many people know about the, the functionality that's available. So first of all, um, we're looking at the uh, interface. This is the nicest thing about Windows Phone, um, to be honest. You should, uh, typical scrolling left and right from the functionality of the phone itself. Um, but the interface is very simple to use. Uh, it's really nicely uh, put together. So if you go to people, this is where you do your social networking. And as you can see, there's this very unique um, way that uh, the text scrolls, set up your Google, set up your Facebook, set up your Windows Live Messenger, all the usual social media tools are there for you to um, set up and explore. Um, and then we go over to messaging. Again, um, simple way that you can got your keypad, you can do your messaging, um, all very smooth, all very um, responsive. Um, and again, simply laid out, uh, no real problems there in terms of writing messages, it's clear on the front. Office, of course, being a Microsoft operating system, you should have the best out of Office. Um, you've got um, easy to make notes, you've got your documents, so you can use Word, PowerPoint, Excel, you've got your SharePoint, which you can share um, you know, online, everything that you've um, got in terms of documents. Um, and then another rather nice feature that you get uh, with Microsoft is you've got the Xbox Live. Um, so if you've been playing um, on your Xbox uh, 360 and it's a compatible game with um, uh, your device, um, you can carry on playing through the Xbox Live connection on your Windows Phone 7. So this is a nice um, a nice little uh, tool. Uh, again, um, just flicking through some other things here, just bring up the calendar and then pictures. Um, pictures again, nicely laid out using this unique interface that they've developed. So um, again, all round, this is, a, this is an easy to navigate uh, user interface and it's something that isn't talked about enough when talking about um, the Windows Phone. Um, devices. So yep, just again click into the pictures. I'm just having a quick look here um, and then I'll just come out uh, in a second and see what else that we've got. Um, okay, music and videos. Um, they have something called uh, Zune um, in the Windows Phone 7. Um, this allows you to connect your PC, synchronize your stuff, etc. So it's videos, podcasts, radio, etc. Again, a syncing tool with your um, Windows 7 um, PC. Um, so you can get all your favorite stuff on your on your device. And then this whole list of apps is very simply laid out. So any of these apps that you've got, you've downloaded, you've put on the phone, um, you can do something which is called um, pinning. So you can pin it um, and then you can, once you've pinned it, it'll appear on your home page. And then this home page is obviously customizable. Um, you can move this different apps around, place them where you want and pin it down into that spot. Um, so, or unpin it and, and remove it and take it away. Um, if you go to settings, um, there's all the settings, the usual, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, um, the brightness, the speech, everything that you uh, need to change and then you need to customize. But if you want to customize the theme itself and you don't like the red theme, then go for a pink theme. Um, and the whole interface will, will change its theme and you get all your um, buttons and widgets and, and apps, etc all in a, a nice pink color and if uh, pink is really not your your thing and not your color then just go back very quickly um, and you can change the theme again everything's very quick on the windows phone device i have to say you you click it works you click it works there's no real delays it's all very smooth all very quick um, all very easy to understand i suppose the real problem is not enough people know that this is a great sort of operating system from a from a usability um, standpoint um, and that's it for now we'll uh, look forward to what mango has in store and hopefully it's an advance on um, the uh, windows 7 product that's already existing in the market